When new to printing Avery label sheets, it's best to print on a plain sheet of paper to check the alignment of your layout. Align the printout sheet behind the Avery label sheet and look toward a bright light. Let me demonstrate. Here's a blank sheet of Avery 5160 labels. Here's the back side. Here's a plain sheet of Avery labels. So we line the uh, address labels up, look toward a bright light, and you can see the printing coming through and the outline of the uh, label. And as you go down, you can see that they are lined up. Nothing's too close to the edge. And everything looks great. I've never had an alignment problem unless I locate the text too close to the blue border shown on the Microsoft Word document. I'll point this out in a minute. With the free Avery Design Pro software, which I cover in another course, you can print a test pattern to check a printer's alignment. Then you can enter numbers to make an adjustment. In the previous video lesson, I demonstrated the label side goes down and the end that goes in first is the top. I would get in the habit of holding the sheet so you can read the text in the margins. This would be the top. Insert the top end first. This way, if you only print on some of the labels, you'll find it easier to calculate where to start when printing the remaining labels. For example, Here's a partially used Avery sheet of 5160 labels. Here's a close-up of a previously used Avery sheet with 10 labels left in the middle. Again, here's the top of the sheet because you can read the printing. Remember the blue label in Avery Wizard under Page Layout? The blue label indicates where printing starts. To print fewer than 30 labels, click under Quantity, Number on Page. Now I can move the starting position. If I click here, 27 labels are printed. Here, 26 labels. Labels are printed left to right and top to bottom as shown on the page layout. On my label sheet, I previously printed 11 labels starting at the top of the sheet. So I would start printing on the 12th label from the top. Let's count them off. Here's 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12th. I start printing on the 12th position. If I wanted to print 10 labels, I would have to enter 10 here. Let's click Next, Print Preview. One hundred percent on the zoom, and you can see the first eleven labels are skipped. Now I print ten labels and stop because these labels are also missing at the bottom of the sheet. So let's print these address labels. Close print preview. Hit finish.
Notice the blue dotted line in the Microsoft document. This represents the edge of the 5160 label. You don't want your label's text to just touch the edge because if the printer's out of alignment, the text may get clipped. Check our labels, they look good. Now, we need to insert our sheet of labels. Labels facing down, top in first. And select print and print the labels. Should you feed an Avery sheet of labels through your printer more than once? I'll read from an Avery tip sheet. <laughs> when printing label products, do not feed labels through your printer more than once. Avery Denison's satisfaction guarantee extends only to a sheet of labels that has been fed through a printer a single time. With an inkjet printer, I rarely worry about feeding a sheet through more than once. If the edge of the label is very loose, I would just remove the label. With a laser printer, I would take Avery's advice. A laser printer melts the toner into the paper. This process also heats the glue. I have fed Avery label sheets through an HP laser printer more than once. But after the third time, the labels start to turn gray. I've also tested a Lexmark laser printer, and after the third time through, some of the labels came out loose. Printing just a few labels is a real concern. You don't want to print 10 labels on a sheet of 30 and throw away 20 labels. Buying an inkjet printer may be necessary if you only have a laser printer. We'll cover other solutions in videos that follow.